Good morning, everyone. And uh, Good morning, sir. so now today is a little bit of a sad day for us. We lost uh, one of the youngest members of the first family, the Ant family. And uh, I'm a little bit different by this because it was uh, somebody I would like to talk about it. So uh, if you guys can invite others, uh, please do that in the, in the groups, wherever you guys are there, please invite others. Uh, so today is a kind of a special day for, for probably just sharing you something about this guy, this gentleman. And uh, uh, so how many of you know him? Anyone? Anyone has seen him or known him? Uh, his name is Mr. Yati Raj Agarwal, who is uh, right now no more amongst us. Uh, he was one of the probably the early members of uh, the first family, very, very early members of the first family. And uh, we learned a lot of things from him, in fact, you know, a lot of things. So that's how, I mean, I think, uh, you know, what do I say? That's how I think uh, people should be. That's how people, I think, uh, as a family should be, as a family man. Um, today, as I'm remembering him, and it is kind of a, you know, a misbelief that he is not, not there amongst us. Uh, I used to proudly say, yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, is no more. Yeah, so uh, we got the sad news uh, yesterday, and uh, I thought of you know letting you know that uh, this is the gentleman who I was actually proud of. Uh, he was, as I said, he was one of the youngest member of the Ant family and the first family also. He's a close he friend of mine. Oh, okay. So probably I can I can give you a chance to talk for him as well. So I thought of you know recording this uh, small session today, remembering this person. A uh, couple of things that he has done for for the first family also. I would like to tell you that uh, the concept of uh, uh, you know <clears throat> that being humble. I think that is one of the biggest lessons that I learned from him. Being humble, being grounded. This is a gentleman whom I was uh, really fond of because whenever we used to talk, we used to talk for hours. And uh, he was there in, I think, season three or season four. I'm not sure about this. And uh, when he completed just two of the sessions with me, uh, this was a different moment. And uh, he technically, you know, we were like, virtually apart. But uh, I could understand, you know, he was sharing so much of love and so much of gratitude to us. And uh, so this is the person you know, who had been, uh, uh, no. uh, okay. Just one second. Okay. so who had been with me uh, for quite some time. He was a kind of a silent uh, shadow and a guide for me. He used to update me with a lot of things which was happening around the system. Um, he was one of the persons uh, probably uh, in those early times when I was uh, trying to figure out things and all these things. And uh, he said, Amit, I think you should start, you know, it did in massive stage. And uh, he also thanked me because he closed a couple of deals. And uh, I do not know if I have the recordings right now, but I think uh, on this day, I feel like I should search all those recordings and give it back to you. Like, you know, uh, how the fest and the Ant family was something which was very dear for him. He was also there for me when I launched something called as, uh, many people might not know, it's called as the Mysteries of Mastery. It was a two and a half hour or three hours of the session, which I did with a very, very core principles, very different, very powerful. And that's the day he said, Amit, this is not the right time. You are way ahead of your time and please stop it right now. Otherwise you might get into some uh, difficult situations. I didn't understand that time. I said, kya hoi but I think gradually when he was interacting with me, he comes with a lot of expertise of uh, uh, different trainers and mentors. He has been uh, you know, a, a co-learner along with me. Both of us were under the same mentor for some time. Then he started learning from me and I was like, my hands were like always like this. It's a, you are somebody who is like my father's age. And how can I teach you? And he says, it is not about the age, it is about the consciousness. And he taught about some of the deepest principles uh, from Bhagavad Gita, because he was an amazing person who was uh, uh, following the ISKCON principle. He joined, in fact, ISKCON in Jaipur. 
and uh, he was a very active participant in the ISKCON missions and uh, spreading some of the, his words was uh, being humble, being grat gratitude. So I was able to see that he was practicing many of those arts, which, uh, which needs guts, which needs guts. And to come from that kind of a background where he has trained more than, I know this, okay, he has trained more than seven to 10 lakh people across the world. I'm sure it should be more, but that's the kind of a numbers which is coming in my mind right now. And uh, this person has traveled more than 14 to 15 countries and uh, he has a voracious knowledge about uh, explorative industries. And we were, we were actually working together on a couple of projects together, but uh, I, I think, uh, his health condition was not giving that much of power to him. And I was waiting, I was waiting. So I was like that bullet inside that, that barrel, just wanting that one hit. And uh, we did a couple of interviews together. We did uh, a couple of sessions together. It was very, very intense, very deep sessions. And I think only a conscious mind will understand that. So uh, today, as I'm talking to you guys, it is coming from my heart that this person is definitely, uh, you know, physically probably he's not there, but he will be remembered inside the first family. Uh, uh, so probably from, from this next coming fest, I will be creating a kind of uh, a place where uh, all the people who are here, you know, from, from probably the first zero or beyond that, uh, all the good things that I have learned from them, I will definitely keep a kind of a record and I'll give it to you. So today, as I'm remembering uh, this super soul, we would like to keep uh, one minute or probably two minutes of silence to, uh, to you know, to let that soul um, reach that heavenly abode. And uh, I would like all of you guys, if you can come on screen and let us keep a two minutes of silence. And then probably if you know him, if you want to share something about him, this room is open to anyone who wants to talk about it. Okay, so can I just request everyone, whoever is here, to come on screen and we'll just, uh, you know, just keep your videos mute for two minutes and uh, in the silence of this noble soul. And uh, um, because he was one of the prominent person inside the family, very, very close, very uh, devout, very uh, humble, very connecting guys. And uh, it was his blessings, definitely, uh, where I think probably we all are here. I'm sure there are a lot of things to learn about him. So let's let's keep a two minute silence uh, in his observation, guys. And uh, uh, as a family member, this is something that I would definitely ask all of you guys. If you are watching this video anywhere, and if you are coming so far, please keep this as a as a noble gesture of this amazing person. And uh, so let's keep our our mute uh, already. So let's two minutes. Let's uh, pray for his noble soul. From now. Thank you, everyone. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, many people might not know who he was. So I'll just take one minute to introduce this person, uh, his brief profile. I'll just share with you definitely also with this. So just to give you a kind of an insight of who this person was, if you do not know him. 
So Yathira Jagurwal is popularly known as India's first sales and profit engineer. And his mission was to make business profitable. He strongly believes that the future of India depends on the success of business people. And the success of business depends on the skills and attitude of salespeople. He is sure that the people are highly capable and he knows how to help them discover their hidden talents and potential. He has helped many SMEs and corporates to increase their sales and improve their profitability. His passion in life is to share his experience and the secrets of success to empower people to achieve their goals in the personal and business life. He has already contributed to success of more than 250,000 people across the globe. Uh, I'm sure this number is uh, way beyond when I got this information. Uh, globe and his goal is to positive impact at least a million people. I'm sure he has touched that. He has already done that. And Yathiraj is a highly sought after international trainer, coach, transformer, especially in real estate, insurance, industrial selling, high ticket selling, all kinds of direct sales. He is an expert in sales negotiations, customer care, network marketing, leadership. He also has been a business coach as a motivator par excellence. He himself is a professional salesperson and a highly successful businessman with terrific track records of accomplishment. He is an alumni of Bits Pilani and has been experienced of more than 43 years in sales, marketing, management, training, coaching. He is a founder and chief faculty of Yard Training, which is established in 1993. He is also a member as well as a faculty in Madras uh, Management Association, a member of ISDD, which is Indian Society for Training and Development premium pioneer and a mentor of startup clubs, a funded startup and a chief mentor of Indus Arena Delhi. And he was also recognized as one of the top 100 transformation leaders in Asia. Yathira started his career with RHL, present known as Procter & Campbell in 1977, and worked with them for five years. And uh, then he got involved in direct selling and spent 32 plus years in direct selling. He was one of the top performers with the World Book Encyclopedia, as a sales manager in India. He was All India Sales and Training Director of Time Life, a division of Time Warner, and made a significant contribution to the success of this result in India winning the top distributed award. He was awarded special play for his outstanding leadership. Yathiraj was featured in the cover page of popular Tamil magazines, Valar Tosi, and uh, he was also been presented by. TND, Tamil Nadu Distributor Associations, RMP Infotech, Royal India, NIMSME. His name was also recommended by All India Achievers Conference in Rashtriya Gaurav Award in 97 for a significant achievement in the field of training and human resource development. Recently, he was conferred with Magnificent Man Choice Award and for specialization in profit engineering by HIBA and association with Australia India Academy, Melbourne. Yathiraj Agarwal has a lifelong impact on the participants because he is able to improve their self-esteem and also help them bring out their best. His sessions were are always lively, energetic, highly interactive. He can conduct the programs in English as well as mixed of Hindi, Tamil, Gujarati, Kannada, and Marathi. Yathiraj is a keynote speaker, mentor, upcoming author. He has been in USA, Britain, Australia, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Dubai, Mauritius, etc., to conduct trainings as well as to attend trainings. His programs, The Art and Science of Negotiation Skills, is highly popular and it can help companies increase their bottom line by 10 to 20 percent. Here are some of the other programs offered, and this is how he was actually doing it. So, uh, so that's kind of a small introduction about uh, how Mr. Ethiraj was there. It was a very old um, template that I had, but I'm sure the accolades are much more bigger, much more finer. So if anyone wants to talk about him, the session is open and uh, we can definitely share. Yeah, he was a close friend because we did one program together. So he has even come to my house. And of course, being Tamilian, he used to speak in Tamil. And my wife and daughter also knows him in that respect. And I've also attended one of his trainings on sales. So in fact, uh, I have no background in sales. So that was a kind of eye opener for me in terms of what are the areas that are really important. And I also found that like he was down to earth, very simple, very humble. And in fact, 
I also had one or two sessions to talk to him about NLP and so on and so forth. And he was supposed to go deeper, but unfortunately we didn't get a chance to kind of present a webinar together. But otherwise he was impressed. And I was also impressed with his uh, strong background in spirituality. Such a nice gentleman, very down to earth, very simple, and always on the go to improve himself. And I wish him safe passage so he gets divine guidance so that he travels to the higher levels of freedom as we think about him. Uh, thank you so much, Ganesha. And uh, just to conclude, uh, you know, being one of the, you know, I used to always um, mock at one of his words that he was always younger. He was just, he's, he, he always used to make a fun of this, that uh, he was younger and he has lived uh, 20 years for the last six times. And uh, that was a kind of a fun part of how he used to address. And uh, I used to always tell people, you know, I still tell them that in my family, I have the youngest one who is 80 plus and uh, still willing to learn. And uh, I was to, it's a kind of a kind of a way of talking, but this is this is one thing that I would like to probably end this session with this uh, gratitude that there are a lot of attributes are there when you are inside a family, and uh, being humble is one of the biggest attribute that Mr. Etiraj has taught me. Being grounded, being continuously into learning, he was almost eighty plus when I met him, and he was. Uh, constantly in a kind of a learning motion. Still now, I'm sure you might be knowing many people that he was a co-learner cool for me. He was a co-learner cool for Ganeshji also. He was always learning from everyone, even if he's younger to him, even if he is somebody way junior to him, even if someone has never tried those kind of dimensions. And this is something which, which, uh, which is the biggest thing that I, I, I can adore for, for uh, Mr. Yathiraj is, you know, empty the cup. Okay, so he always had a huge belly of knowledge, but the cup was always empty. So thank you so much uh, for you know getting together and uh, helping me and helping this family of uh, and and fest to uh, recognize this gentleman. I think we should we should do something for for this, and I'm definitely coming out with some kind of a concepts to uh, share my gratitude for this model. So thank you so much for being together and people who are watching this. Uh, please drop in what you feel about uh, you know, uh, this person and uh, anything that you, if you know him, please share your thought processes. And this is a kind of a way to probably share the gratitude uh, over this virtual medium. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next session.